You know what's missing on this saltwater tank? A controller cabinet. I ended up going to the hardware store and I picked up some lumber, uh, got some paint and all that stuff. This is some pine that's pre-cut. Very nice quality, so it's gonna look good um, in the space I have to do this uh, cabinet. So I just got some flat black, nothing crazy. Now with the sun shining and it being a breezy day, I figured this is a perfect time to paint this so that it'll dry nice and fast. And I am painting one side of this because I wanna be able to assemble it with the inside already being painted. There'll be some touch-ups I'm sure I'll have to mess with, but this is the start. All right, now that we got everything laid out, we are throwing that coat of paint on it. Like I mentioned, what I wanna do is get paint on there so that when I assemble it, the inside is already painted. That is the goal of what we're doing right now. Can you guys imagine if painting was this fast? <laughs> So what I'm doing is, is I'm going all the way along the edges and uh, getting it piloted and screwing in the back onto these side ones to start. What I did was I laid some of the controllers out. I made marks where I want to drill holes for the cord management. So that is our next step. All right, let's get to it. So got the two inch hole saw for the two inch desk grommets that we're using. And uh, just the fun part, figuring out where we're going to be putting them, using a power drill and getting everything drilled out. Definitely want to plan it all out and vacuuming it up. Now what we're doing is we're putting some hot glue onto this so that it'll glue into place. I mean, I know that sounds obvious, but uh, I seen Reefer Gill do this, so shout out to him. That should put us in a good spot. So now we just go here. All right, let's get the rest of these put in there. One thing you're going to definitely want to do is once you get the hot glue on there, definitely apply them right away so that they set all the way down onto the lumber. Now that those are on, we could just set these here for now so that they do not get lost. So what I'm doing now is you print out a template you can get online. So I lined it up where I wanted. I made my two holes. So now what we're doing is getting the screw mounted. All right, that should do it. So let's take a look. Got it in place. There we go. There we go. It is in place. Now let's check our... So there's that. And then that goes like that. All right, so now that that is done, we got our next template all set here. That is where it is going to sit. Okay, so now that we got those holes in place, now we set that right there. All right, let's slide this on and see how it looks. Now that we got everything set where we want it, we're getting all the mounts installed. I'm using my level to try to get everything as level as possible and placed where I want it so that everything sits right. And then obviously using the template there to drill the holes in the right spot so that everything is going to work as we are planning it. What I did do was I did lay out all the equipment inside the cabinet before I decided where to drill for the desk grommets. So what you'll want to do is once you build it, go ahead and grab all your equipment and set it up inside the cabinet. And then you will be able to set everything where you want it and you'll know exactly where to drill again for those desk grommets. Take your time, all that good stuff, and you know, make sure you give yourself enough room. If I had the ability to build this cabinet wider, I would have, but because of the area I was able to install this, I only had a specific amount of room to work with. So that is what we did. 
one thing I did was I cut out this little door here and I'm putting these hinges on and you'll see exactly why I'm doing this later on in the video. All right, so let's go over a list of the equipment and supplies you will need to do this build. Obviously, you're gonna need some lumber and you're gonna need to measure where you're gonna be able to put this cabinet. You're gonna need power drills, you're gonna need hole saws, you're gonna need bits to put in screws and a level and everything you're gonna need along with those to get your cabinet assembled. What we did there was we set up a little door that I can remove at any time. One thing that I would also do, this is what I did, was once you get everything set where you want, slowly move over your equipment because it does take time and you don't want your tank running without your equipment, obviously. And plus, because there's so many cords to route, it takes time to route everything to where it's not as much of a rat's nest. Now we're getting the dose installed, setting them where we want. What I did do is I found some right angle USB cables that are allowing me to set these in there to where I can connect these to any Aquabus cable that I may have. Now, you're gonna definitely wanna do your research to make sure you buy the correct USB cables because there's certain ones that can wreck the system. So you're gonna wanna definitely do your research and check out the Neptune forums so that you get the right ones. As you see here, we're just getting everything all put into place, set so that everything is spaced evenly, so it's symmetrical. That is definitely something I like to do is make sure everything is symmetrical. And definitely buy yourself a good hole saw. You're gonna to wanna to get a nice brand name because you get what you pay for and you want good equipment. Here we go, everybody. We got everything taken out, all the screws where they need to go and everything. I'm uh, going to touch up the paint because it did get a bit scratched messing around, uh, but it'll be a really light touch up, which will be nice and easy. All right, a little bit of a mess, so excuse that, but we got it repainted and we got the mounts added back onto it. So this thing is ready to go in place. All right, so check it out. Here we go on the side of the tank. We got it in place. Now you uh, were wondering why I had that little door. It's so I can have access to the uh, box there for the cords. Yeah, yeah. We're getting closer to this thing being set. All right, now we got some controllers to add to it. So first things first, we're gonna put our Vortec pump controller in, like so. Then we got our fluid monitoring system. Let's see, probably about like that. Next is gonna be the apex itself. So open it up. There it is. There we go. In place for now, we got one of the energy bars to put into place. So that's gonna go in here. Let's see, I just gotta, gotta find exactly where it is. And there we go. That is in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and drop the next one in place, which is gonna go right let me see here gotta move a few things so we can get it in it's a tight fit because you know that's really all the room that i had to work with there we go that is in place now as well all right everyone so the next step for the build is i went and got these off of amazon there'll be affiliate links in the description these are just two foot extension cords and the reason why I did this was so that we could make it look nice and clean. Now, the other thing that I got were these labels. What I did was, uh, these are on Amazon as well, so there'll be affiliate links in the description. These are cord labels, and what I did was, I was able to go onto the computer, I found a template that was close, I had to go through some sheets, like you could see on this one, how they're not lining up right, like down over here, and down over here, up over here and stuff. So 
Um, it took a little bit to get it figured out, but I got it figured out to a pretty good spot. So this is gonna allow me to label these so we know exactly what we're looking at. Now to put these on, it's real simple. So the first one we're gonna do is for my left MP40 by Ecotech, so the left power head, the left wave maker. So you pull it off and what you do is you stick it on about here, right? Then you turn it, you want this to stay as flat as possible. And then what happens here is this goes down here. And then you fold these two together. And there you go. So now we know that this cord is for the MP40. So no matter which way it is, you got two sides. That is what this is all about. All right, so we are done with these. So here we go, everything is labeled. Now it's time to get everything set by plugging in the cords, just to kind of get a feel for how it is going to look. All right, everyone, here we go. Here is the controller cabinet that we built. Um, it is pretty much done, but uh, yeah, and we gotta move again a few other things here. Check this out, bam. LED lights on the edges to make this thing just pop. Look at that. And we could cycle through different colors on here. We could do greens, we could do reds, we could do orange. Uh, I personally like the white the best, uh, or maybe like a light blue. I think it looks epic. Okay, so here we go, guys. A little bit of a dilemma. I'm gonna most likely have to mount this back inside here because the line that goes to the pump is not long enough to reach over here. So I'm gonna have to find a solution with that. Let's take a look at the equipment. So this right here obviously is the Apex controller. This is the brains of the operation. This guy, the WXM controls my pumps and the lights. This is a fluid monitor system. What I'm gonna be doing is hooking up some sensors that I'm gonna put down underneath over in here in case there's any leaks. Again, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Am I, am I gonna be able to find a way to extend that so we can put it here? Obviously here are the controllers for the Vortec pumps. These don't actually work right now because this is controlling it through the apex. Then we got our energy bars, two of them, and got them all labeled nicely so we know what is what. Going down over here, we got the return pump controller for the Reef Octopus. This is for the skimmer. And then we got the two dose pumps that we're gonna be working with after, and then the LED uh, controller there. So that is it. That is it. I am so happy with the way this turned out. Really excited. Definitely would like to know what you guys think in the comments. I got the heater controller right there with the heaters plugged into that still. Uh, I'm going to be moving those. One goes here and the other goes here. Just haven't gotten to that quite yet. Slowly been moving everything to the system. I had a lot of fun building the aquarium controller cabinet with all the Neptune stuff and the Ecotech stuff and just all my controllers and electronics for the reef tank was a lot of fun building it. What'd you guys think in the comment section down below? Please comment. Also, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you subscribe, that'd be great. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you know when another video comes out. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tanked.